Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're looking at the passing of a truck driver that goes by the name of JC. Rest in peace, driver. This information comes by way of TikToker Whitney Morgan. You guys can go and check out her TikTok um, where she talks about the love of her life and the grief process that she's going through right now. Um, the Lockout Men podcast show would like to send out our sincere condolences to her and her family. It's, I, it's hard to imagine. Uh, it's hard to imagine losing the love of your life to a uh, to a tragic accident. Unfortunately, uh, the young man was out on his motorcycle, and she got the tragic call. Uh, from the police letting her know that the love of her life was in a tragic accident. In these couple of clips right here that we about to look at, she explains uh, the day of the accident and she explains uh, the truck company he used to drive for and the GoFundMe, which is available now, if you guys would like to help this young lady out with their financial situation. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So many people have asked me what happened to JC. So here it is. On Friday, July 15th, um, we woke up got our daughter ready for school, took her to school, and went to work. I was working with JC at the time of his passing. So we went to Target, he was on his bike, I drove my car. He bought Ariana a Rainbow High doll. We went to leave, she gave him a kiss and said that he was the best dad in the world. I kissed him, told him I loved him. Um, he said he loved me and that he was gonna be home in a little, he was just gonna ride his bike. At 7.41, JC called me and said, Babe, I'm on the bike. I can't hear you. I'm on the way home. I love you. By 8.15, he wasn't home, so I called him. No answer. Um, after the third time he didn't answer, I knew something was wrong. So I, I answer it, relieved, and it wasn't JC. It was the police telling me that JC had been in a motorcycle accident and that they didn't want me to go to the hospital, that they wanted that they wanted to come talk to me. When I get to the hospital, um, at the door waiting for me is Trey, JC's cousin, but like his brother, Trey's wife, Jen, who's more like JC's sister and a chaplain. I found out JC passed away and within 10 seconds, everyone was just rushing me back, telling me I had to see him. And I just held him and kissed him and begged God to bring him back. And it was the worst thing of my life, so. So many people have asked if we had a GoFundMe. Um, my friend made us a GoFundMe due to um, us having to move and basically losing everything when JC passed. We just had a, got a brand new home in February and we had to give it up. I just wanna say thank you ahead of time to everyone, whether it's something like this or just saying a prayer for us um, everything that you guys have said, everything that you guys have done, everything that everything is it's so appreciated. Like you guys don't even know. But once again, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for all of your words, all of your prayers, all of your thoughts. Like it's overwhelming how much love we've gotten throughout this. And I just am so grateful and I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, so since this is getting so much attention, here is my man in front of his most prized possession, his Freightliner Classic, um, that he purchased cash with no payments, his biggest accomplishment. He um, 
ran three trailers for North American. And if you know anything about commercial moving, you know that that's unheard of. He ran his own crew. He had leased another truck and had another driver dropping, ugh, had another driver dropping off his shipments that he wasn't as a motorcycle drives by. Um, but enough about this stupid bike. This is really JC Macklin right here. This was his life right here. He worked so hard, harder than any man I've ever known. And if we could please, please, please reach truck driver side of TikTok so that we can do a last call for J Mac. If we could please get this to truck dri truck driver side of TikTok. Oh my goodness, I would be so grateful. I would just want, please stitch me, duet me, whatever you have to do so that I can save these videos and put together something for JC's mom and for my daughter, for everyone, his whole family. It would be so appreciated. Um, please get us there. Truck driver side of TikTok. Throughout her TikTok uh, with her and JC, looks like they was a great couple together. They look like... Um, a loving couple, uh, a cherished couple, and they look like they not, you know, they endured each other. And unfortunately, tragic strikes, and you know, it kind of turned her family dynamic and her world around. Um. In one of her TikToks, she explained that they just moved. Um, being that JC was from Tennessee, I, they moved to Florida. They just got a house, but unfortunately, she had to give up the house um, due to financial restraints. And she... Um, you know, she is she it's kind of hitting her hard right now. So here's my uh final call to JC. Um brother man, you can rest easy now. Your time uh your your time is up and we'll take over from here. Um, it's always sad to report situations like this because not only did I talk about the terrors of, you know, driving this truck, but we also got to be mindful of the bike riders as well, you know, they just out there enjoying the life riding their bike. And we need to be mindful of them out here sharing the road with us. So again, rest in peace to JC. Um, and in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we like to, again, send our sincere condolences to Whitney and her family. The GoFundMe information will be posted and um, and I'll talk to you guys again in another segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man Podcast Show.